<laughs> In this episode, we're gonna give you a tour of the shop. <laughs> I'm back and as you know I recently relocated across America. Now it's a huge undertaking you never realize how much of an impact it's going to have on your family, your life, your shop, all of those things that you take for granted. I wouldn't wish it on anybody but I think we're done. We've got a few finishing touches and you can see behind me it looks a little bit different. Well that's the new shop, that's the new environment. Basically converted the garage into a studio, put AC in there and we're good to go. So today I'm going to walk you through all of the new tools, the new layout, and talk about some of the upcoming projects. Hey, so behind me is the new shop. Basically a two car garage that painted up, added flooring, air conditioning unit, and some shelving units. Got all the machines in here, organized it with some workbenches, and we're ready to start making things. Now what I'm going to do is just walk around counterclockwise and we'll talk about the various machines that I have, the couple new machines that we've added to the mix, and then we'll go from there. First thing you see is a roll away toolbox with screwdrivers, allen wrenches, just about anything you need to take it apart or put it together. To the right of that is an airbrush compressor underneath the sink basin. Up on the wall we've got examples of some airbrush illustrations I did on skateboard decks over the years. Beneath that is a 50 watt laser. Underneath the laser you see that there's filtration, water cooling. To the right of that are all the 3D printer filaments, everything from NinjaFlex to PLA and ABS and nylon. Just below that you see there's a Windows 10 tablet. That tablet controls the 3D printer, which is a TAS-4 in an environmental enclosed chamber. And beneath that is the Shapeoko 3 CNC with a Makita end mill. Underneath that are project storage bins. To the right of that is the electronic assembly and workbench, which includes storage of components above it, everything you can think of from Raspberry Pi to Onion to Photon, Electron, Capacitor, Resistor, Transistor, anything you can think of. We see the soldering iron, the oscilloscope, the multimeter, some spare hands, chargers, power supplies, everything you need at a solder station. To the right of that is a computer workstation that's incomplete that will have multiple monitors and a computer. And the Laguna 1412 which has a 12 inch resaw which we use to cut those nice arcade fine wood blocks. To the right of that is Nomad 883 which you've seen in all of my other videos and to the right of that is a workbench where we can assemble parts and projects. Hey, so that's it. This is just an icebreaker video, really, too. Uh, you know, it's kind of awkward. I haven't talked to you in a couple months, but the relocation thing and setting up the shop's really been a huge undertaking. But as you can see, it's pretty close to done. We're ready to start working on projects again. Now, we've got some really cool projects in the works. We've got a new handheld arcade gaming system, which is going to be Pi 3 compute module based. Very cool. Kind of takes the best of the Ultimate Arcade and incorporates it with the Affordable Arcade, and you get this really neat enclosure. That should be happening sometime in November. Um, but before that, we're going to be doing some projects based on Accutronics linear actuators and some RGB projects. So very cool. Stay tuned. If, if you're interested in those sorts of things, if you're not, put something in the comments to let me know what you are interested in seeing. As always, stay safe, have fun. I can't wait to see you next time. Oh yeah, and uh, these trailers and intros, I'll obviously have to update them with new, new shop photos and all that stuff, so that might take some time. Anyway, hang in there. Thanks, bye. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too. See ya. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, do that again. <laughs>